Welcome to Crafting at Home with OC Public Libraries. Today, we'll make a hanging macrame ornament. Instructions for this project come from Make It Modern Macrame by Mia Boyle. You can check out this book from OCPL's collection. You'll need 195 inches of rope, a ruler, scissors, and a comb. This rope is four millimeters thick and can be found at craft or fabric stores, but in a pinch, any flexible rope, cord, or even thick yarn will do. Cut six pieces of rope, each 30 inches long, plus one piece 15 inches long. This will be your base. To start, lay out the short base piece horizontally. Take a long piece and fold it in half. Now, slide the loop of your long piece under the base piece. Lift the two long ends and slide them through the loop from above. Hold the base steady as you pull the two ends tight. You have just learned a classic macrame knot, the lark's head. Repeat with the other five pieces side by side. Make sure the two ends are even as you pull them through. Tighten your knots and press them close to each other. Make sure you have equal lengths of base rope on each side. The next knot will use the four left strands. Pick up the first strand and bring it over the middle two, then under the fourth strand. Now pick up that fourth strand, bring it under the middle two, and through the loop over the first strand. Pull the first and fourth ends to tighten. But wait, this knot is only halfway done. Start again with the first strand, but this time bring it under the middle two and over the fourth strand. Now bring the fourth strand over the middle two, through the loop and under the first strand. Tighten it to complete another classic macrame knot. The square knot. Create two more square knots using the same four strands. But remember, one full square knot involves knotting twice. You'll now have three square knots, which look like this. Repeat that set of three square knots with the next four strands, and again with the final four strands. Your triple set of triple square knots should look like this. Pull apart some space at the top of each set. Push the middle two strands through that space and pull them all the way to form what's known as a berry. Repeat two more times for a total of three berries. Each berry has two strands in the front and two in the back. Seal off each berry with a tight square knot. Now tie your base ends together with a simple knot of your choice. Next, we'll make a row of two square knots side by side. Start by finding strand number three and strand number six. Tie a square knot. Next, pick up strand number seven and strand number 10. Tie another square knot. This row is complete. On to the next. We're now working with the four middle strands, numbers five through eight. You know the drill, one last square knot. You should now see a triangle pointing down. Next, lay out your project like so. Separate the first and last strands, plus five strands on the left and five on the right. Pick up the first strand and cross it over the left group of five. 
Now take the next strand and form a loop. Bring the end under the top strand and through the loop you just made. Tighten it up, you're halfway there. Repeat with the same strand. Bring the end under and through just like before. You've learned another classic knot the clove hitch. Pick up the next strand in the line and repeat the previous knot. Continue through the left side for a total of five clove hitches. You'll end up with a diagonal slant like this. Now for the right side. Bring your rightmost strand across and pick up the next. Form a loop then bring it under and through. Tighten it and repeat with the same strand for a full knot. Continue these steps with all the right side strands. When you finish your last strand, you'll have a V shape. Secure the V with the two innermost strands. Pick up the right strand and tie a final clove hitch. The completed V will look like this. Now we cut the strands evenly. The ruler guides the angle, but there's no exact measurement. Here's where the comb comes in. First, unravel the strands with your fingers. Then fray the strands with your comb. Get them nice and fluffy. Now cut the fluff to a length of your choice. Shape them how you like them. And voila! Your macrame ornament is complete!